Alright guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Avid Expert and I'll be your host for this video today. We recently got some information from the official Biohazard Twitter. Now this is to do with Resident Evil 7 and we get some greater depth and understanding into why Chris Redfield has joined the new Umbrella. I know a lot of people were originally confused as I was to see that Umbrella logo on the helicopter at the end of Resident Evil 7, but I will start to explain things now so let's get right into it. It seems like the mission that Chris was on in Resident Evil 7 was actually being directed by the new Umbrella themselves and not the BSAA. Chris has basically been hired in this context as a mercenary to work for them and execute the mission, so he's still connected to the BSAA and it's more than likely that the BSAA has sent him on an infiltration mission to kind of see what's going on and gain any intel on the new agency. This however does imply that New Umbrella has all of its own facilities and that is probably where Ethan is being evacuated to so the fate of that character does not look very positive after all. Now we know the New Umbrella which is labelled Blue Umbrella contains all of the research data that Wesker stole from the original Umbrella and I'm assuming this is where they got his version of the Samurai Edge from. But exactly why Chris would be running around with that weapon specifically is still a large question to be answered and on top of that why is Blue Umbrella specifically interested in it? Could this be again a shadow hint with all of the information we now know that Wesker is at the top of the leadership after all and somehow did survive that volcano? I do know a lot of people are very very skeptical about that but I think there is a chance that that is a possibility. Also, we do have the title of the DLC being not a hero, so now that we have a little bit more context and understand that Chris is being recruited for a single mission that is being directed by New Umbrella, that they are a nefarious organization, or that's the likelihood, and that's why Chris is not a hero, because he's working for them and indirectly causing harm to innocents. It could also be related to the DLC's title, End of Zoe, and maybe Chris is the one that finally has to put her down. But yeah, it's finally interesting to know guys that Chris is actually kind of working as a mercenary for the new squad, so although he is a commanding officer, he's still affiliated with the BSAA, and I'm sure that puts a lot of people at rest. This also again is more of a confirmation it's actually Chris Redfield. I do know a few people are still in denial about that issue, but again I do ask you to kind of keep an open mind about this because at this point with all of the additional confirmation one after another, especially from the official Twitters, the likelihood that it's a red herring with the approach they're taking is it's almost nil to be honest. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is another detail right before TGS about Chris Redfield's affiliation with the Blue Umbrella organization. If you did enjoy the video and you want to stay informed on all the new information related to Resident Evil, you can hit that subscribe button guys and then go into my channel afterwards and click the bell that's near the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of any videos I upload. If you also want to follow my Twitter, I share all my videos there when I upload and that's another easy way to stay up to date. If you did like the video as well, please leave a like. But I just hope you're having a beautiful day as always guys. I'm really looking forward to TGS and I hope you guys are too. Peace.